A Chinese foreign ministry spokesperson claimed that Washington is the culprit behind Afghanistan's opioid crisis and that the US played an ignominious role by acquiescing or even participating in drug production and trade. His comments follow the Taliban's ban on the cultivation of opium poppy in order to crack down on drug production. Although the US spent around $9 billion on the war on drugs in Afghanistan between 2001 and 2021, it failed to destroy the drug trade because the opium poppy is the country's most valuable cash crop and is worth around $863 million. The crop also employs more than 500,000 people, and the opiate economy alone is worth over 10% of Afghanistan's GDP. The Taliban's most recent efforts to end the country's drug menace are part of its campaign to gain international legitimacy. However, it is not clear whether the ban will be a feasible prospect in the long run. In this respect, the Chinese official alleged that US troops previously set up a global drug laboratory in Afghanistan that resulted in opium production in the country increasing by more than 40 times. His claims echo those made by historians and former CIA officials that the US funded local guerrillas through the CIA, in order to gain support against the Soviet Union and in turn turned a blind eye to the fact that they were operating heroin laboratories. Zhao insisted that the US should reflect on its behavior, offer sincere apologies and ample compensations, and strive to undo the harm it has inflicted.